one of the perks of being a college professor is I get to sneak out of the classroom every now and then and go out into nature and just look at the peaceful green surroundings. Nature at its finest. It's relaxing. Did you hear that? I think there's danger. Right there. Poison ivy. I was right, we're in danger here. So this is poison ivy right here, and poison ivy is in the genus Toxicodendron. And toxico means toxic, dendron means skin, so it's got poisons or toxins in it that are soaked in through the skin. And it's really just it's a mixture of oils that will attach themselves to receptors in your skin, and then they cause dermatitis, they cause a lot of blistering and stuff. One of the problems with poison ivy is that you don't feel it right away. So you don't even know you've got it until it's had plenty of time to attach itself to your skin, those molecules, uh, and then uh, you'll have it. And you can have it, instead of having it just for like days, you can have it for as long as months, like many months sometimes. So it's a really nasty plant uh, in many ways. Toxicodendron is in, or poison ivy, is in the family Anacardiaceae. And that's a family that's got some things that you might be familiar with as beyond poison ivy. Uh, that's got mango, it's got pistachio, and also cashews are in that family. Okay, and then some of you may know uh, staghorn sumac. That's one I'll probably do a video on sometime. That's also in this family. So not everything in the family is, is poisonous, but several species or s several genera are. Okay, so if we take a closer look at this one here, you can see that it's got individual leaves that are made of three distinct leaflets. And so we have a, a saying, we say, leaves of three, let it be. All right, and so here's one leaf and it's got three leaflets on it. And this particular one is climbing up this tree. So this is a viney uh, plant. And you'll notice that we've got a single leaf coming out of the stem at each place. So here's the stem, there's one leaf. If we go up a little further, here's another and so forth. And so that tells us that this has alternate leaf arrangement. The leaves are arranged alternately, or in this case, spiral, on the stem. And that's one of the characteristics we use to identify a lot of plants is what the, the, the leaf arrangement is. So again, this one is viney, but these can also be terrestrial or growing on the ground. And we've got some of those down here as well. And you can see again, it's got three leaflets. So there's a single leaf right there comprised of three leaflets. And what you'll notice is that the two lateral leaflets have like a little thumb on them. They're like little mittens. And then the terminal leaflet has a thumb on either side. And that's sort of a typical leaf shape for poison ivy, although there's a lot of variation in leaf shape as well. So, but if you see that shape on some of the plants, you can be, have a pretty good guess that it's gonna be poison ivy. So this family produces little white flowers that have five petals to them, to each of them. And so it's a flowering plant, okay, and actually they're, they're kind of pretty when they flower. And it also produces little white berries. And so uh, I used leaf, leaflets three, let it be, berries white, run in fright, okay. And so if you see these little white berries on these vines growing up a tree, there's a good chance again that it's going to be poison ivy. And I'll just mention all points of, all parts of this plant are toxic. So the berries are toxic, the flowers I just described are toxic the stems, the leaves, the roots, so you really don't want to touch any of it.
one of the benefits of being a college professor is I get to sneak out of the uh, stop and it's just relaxing and did you hear that? Ah. I think there's danger. Just said it, Dad. <laughs>